She answered his questions, directed him to us. Pointed to the only person she knew who could reach me. Yoshiko. The forger. She is an artist. To the world above, she's an institution. But to us, down here, she's a master. There's not a painting she can't forge, a document she cannot reproduce to your exact specification. I have seen her work. Likely many more times than you realize. It's testament to her talent that those above let her work with men like our host. You have to be very useful indeed to be given such latitude. She's exhibiting her more public work in New York as we speak, I believe. You seem relaxed, Hicks. I am. You see, either Wick dies in that gallery at the hands of my men, or via the contingency I've set in motion. I wouldn't want you to miss your appointment on the steps of the Continental. I've seen too many make the exact mistake you're barreling towards, thinking that they alone will succeed, where so many have failed before.
Yoshiko is renowned within the art world. Her influence, her power, is inescapable. It will be spoken of decades after her death. An immortality so few that I can enjoy. I wonder how that history would be told if her full body of work was exhibited in public. Art has always served power. It has bought favor and influence. It has rebuilt civilizations and moved mountains. It has killed old gods. In which case, John Wick belongs in the Pantheon. I look forward to exhibiting a posthumous retrospective of his work.
I hope that Mr. Wick's disturbance did not damage too much of our merchandise. No, Jonathan's like an elegant bull in a china shop. Her exclusive collection is on sale in the same gallery? Of course. So many people sleepwalk through this city without turning a corner, whispering a hushed word, or opening a door to our world beneath. And they miss great works. Many of them hollow, I presume. Our world has no time for beauty. But if you peel back the surface, beneath the bourgeois veneer, you might find... Unlicensed firearms. Drugs. I was going to say, meaning.
she didn't fight? Of course not.
Ugh! <laughs> 